Hello, hi, welcome to my international cooking channel. Today I'm going to make an appetizer called the jalapeno peppers. I'm going to make two varieties of it today. One is with salmon and one I'm going to wrap it with bacon. Okay, so here what I have is some huge jalapenos. This is, you would want, you want to pick the largest jalapenos you can ever find. I have some is already washed and ready to go. Then I have honey bacon wrap. Honey bacon wrap has like a little bit of um, sugary, a little bit of sweetness to it. So it gives a great flavor. And to make the salmon, I have like a piece of salmon here. Then I have two teaspoons of garlic. And then I have some dill for the flavor. And then I also have some paprika for the color. I have um, eight ounce of cheddar cheese. And then I have eight ounce of cream cheese. Okay, so those are the things that we have. I have this kind of a pan with um, a wrap on the top so that when you cook the, um, when you cook the bacon, it has lots of fat drains into the container so that it's not gonna mess up your oven. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute the salmon with our garlic and dill and just cook it, mash it together so we can put it with the cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so my pan is already nice and hot. I'm gonna add my garlic. So wait until this garlic infused into this oil. Okay, so now you want to place your salmon, mix it up. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And add a little bit of pepper to it. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to cook the salmon really good. Okay, now I'm going to chop my dill. Chop it up really thin. And then I'm going to add it with the salmon. Okay. Add it to my salmon. It's halfway cooked. Okay, now I'm going to drop like a quarter um, teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, so our salmon is nice and ready. Now we're gonna let it cool and we're gonna add it to our uh, cream cheese mixture. Okay, so I have my salmon here. Now I'm gonna add a cup of um, cheddar cheese. You can add a cup or a cup and a half. It doesn't really matter. It gives, either way, it gives you the flavor. Then I'm going to add my 8 ounce of cream cheese. Okay, like I said, it should be in a warm temperature. And now we're going to mix all this together. Okay, here I have the salmon and the cream cheese and cheddar cheese is all mixed well and it's ready to go in the jalapeno. Now we're just going to start making our jalapeno. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we already have our filling ready. We're going to start working on the jalapenos. I'm going to cut these jalapenos in two different ways. You can keep the stem and split it half or you can cut off the stem and then split it half. Either way is fine. One thing I recommend is please wear some gloves before you start working on your jalapenos. This is pretty hot. I'm Indian. 
I'm used to cutting chili all the time. My hands are used to it. So I will wash my hands as soon as I'm, I finish cutting so it doesn't bother me. So, okay, here we go. I'm, this is the one with the stem. I'm going to cut it half. Watch out for your, watch out for your finger. Okay, so I did cut it half with the stem. You can do another way. I would cut off the stem first and then you can cut it half. Either way is fine. Now you want to take out the seed and the membrane because this is the, actually this is the spicy part of this jalapeno and you want to clean it really good. Take a, take a spoon if you want to use a spoon, clean it really clean the inside, take all the seed out, take all the membranes out so it's all ready to put some filling in. Okay, here we go. I have my filling ready and I also have my jalapenos cut and cleaned. The seeds and everything is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit and look, look how I'm filling. You don't want to overfill it. You just want to fill it just enough, not too much. So like I said, I am going to make two different kinds. Um, this one, I'm going to make it without the, wrap, um, without the bacon. This one, I'm going to make it without the bacon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top for the color. And this is all ready. See that? And I have the stem here. It looks pretty with the stem if you can cut it, but it, you, you don't have to if you're not able to. Okay, so this one is ready to go. Now the next one, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wrap it with a little bit of bacon. Here we go again. We're gonna fill it really good. Make sure we're not gonna overfill it. Here we go. You can put a little paprika if you want. Now, I'm going to get my bacon and you're going to start wrapping. You're going to want to do it from the sideways, okay? Okay. Make sure it covers covers your jalapeno really well. Some people likes to put like a toothpick. You don't have to. You can, if you can just cover it up real nicely like this. And we're gonna wrap one more. Okay, here we go. Don't want to wrap it too much. This filling is very tasty, actually. Okay. And you want to wrap it. Not so tight. And you can put the toothpick. If some people want to put the toothpick, you can do that too. But you don't have to. And look, it's all nice and ready to go. Okay, so this is how you're going to do the filling. If you want to put a little paprika on the top for the color, that's also nice. Because when it comes out of the oven, it's kind of like, you will see like nice and reddish, kind of brownish, okay? So if you want to give a little color, we can do that as well. Okay, so our jalapenos are all wrapped with bacon, some with bacon, some without. This is ready to go in the oven, okay? Now this is ready to go in the oven at a 400 degree temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. Just one thing to remember is I combine the one jalapeno without the bacon and with the bacon together. Just make sure the jalapeno without the bacon, you take it out at least 10 minutes early because it doesn't need a lot of cooking. Okay, so we had this in the oven for almost 20 minutes. And like I said, you, you want to take the um, jalapeno without the bacon 10 minutes before. This is, this is kind of ready. Oops. Oopsie, 
You don't have to wait for this jalapeno to get so soft before you take it out. This is soft enough. This is already cooked. Okay, now we're gonna leave this for another 10 more minutes. Okay, our jalapeno poppers is ready. Look how colorful and nice this looks. This is one of the appetizer that I put it on the table because it's very colorful. When you sprinkle a little bit of paprika on top of it and it gives that nice reddish color, please try it at home, share it, subscribe it. I will see you until next time. Bye-bye.